Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. I haven't bought anything lately, so I thought a good little, you know, Monday tabletop showcase might be cool to show you guys. Um, I completed recently this 54 Bowman run. 54 Bowman's one of those sets that I, I can't say I'm crazy about, but I certainly don't dislike. There's some really cool cards in this set. Uh, this is the complete Hall of Famer run. Obviously, Bowman missed the boat on a couple things. In 54, no Aaron, no K-Line, and no Ernie Banks. Topps got those. Also, there's no Jackie, and there's no Stan Musial in either set. So, other than that, though, pretty good set. Um, can you'll see a myriad of grades here. Let's just start going through them. This first card has pretty special significance to me, the Phil Rizzuto. It is a card that my dad bought literally decades ago and got it signed by Phil Rizzuto at a game. I ended up uh, ultimately sending it in for dual authentication because I it, it just counts as both the card in the set for me and an autographed Plain Days card. And you have Nellie Fox there. Um, let's see, Richie Ashburn, Minnie Minoso, new Hall of Famer. So when new Hall of Famers get added, I add the cards and keep Keep going. Then we've got Ralph Kiner and George Kell. All right, had a little uh, dog barking interruption, but here we go with the second row. We got Hoyt Wilhelm there, uh, Pee Wee Reese. Most of the photos, you know, are these basic portraits, guys holding bats, guys just looking kind of chill. Here's the, the two biggest cards, ironically, are right next to each other on the checklist. You got card number 65, Mickey Mantle. Card number 66 is the card that never should have been, the Ted Williams that was printed initially and then pulled. So it, it's not super rare, but it's rarer than any of the other 54 Bowmans. And so highly collectible and it's just a really cool card. And uh, yeah, I have both of those. Uh, Mantle's a three, I've had that for a long time. You can tell by the flip. Two great cards there. Uh, next row, here's the Dobie I just got and the Maze. That's not my favorite Maze card by any stretch, uh, but any Maze card is good, right? The Campy, I uh, love the Campy card. I just love his look there, his seriousness. You got Robin Roberts, Red, and Bob Feller. The Feller took me a long time to get too. Feller's one of those sneaky good guys in the hobby. Uh, here we go with Gil Hodges. Again, another new Hall of Famer. Yogi Berra. Early win. Duke Snyder. Whitey Ford. And Bob Lemon. So that rounds out the 24 cards that make up the Hall of Famer run for 54 Bowman. If you noticed... One of these cards does not look like the other. I have that <laughs> Ted Williams in an SGC slab. And it, like, if you're looking at it from back here, that's the thing that, the fact that that's an SGC slab, it just looks out of place. And I'm thrilled to own the card. I'm probably not gonna change it just cause I don't wanna mess with it, but it, it does look, you know, out of sorts a little to me in my the way I think about my collection, but it is what it is. So that's it for the 54 Bowman run. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Let me know what you think down below. Keep collecting.